this. This. GM screens. Caress. Feel. I want you to fondle. Fondle. I want you to create an HR issue with Ooh. this GM screen. Ooh. Ooh. Nick. The Keystone finish is really good. Oh, yeah. It's oh, that's great. Buttery smooth. I have a new baby, and this is smoother than his bottom. <laughs> I just want to go over all the features, see where everything's at, and get everything locked down. And then tomorrow we're going to do the big wood reveal because I have the full mm. photo set done. And I think we'll do that with Michael Alm. So this is the magnetic plate. Come in, click in. This is a powder coat. I think they could actually use this as dry erase or wet erase. We should test it to make sure it doesn't like leach in, but I don't see why it would. I'll just sign my name. I think it's very readable. So then this can also double as if people want to take notes. But yeah, this is dry erase. That works great. Oh, that's really nice. And then we have full and the half. Mm. Okay, crack out the uh, Paladin trackers. Scott from Paladin Woodworking is developing a series of tools. They're tools for game masters that'll be able to magnetically attach to the mag plate. So this is the player tracker. Most of this is like absurdly useful to track on the back of your screen. This would handle a, a party of up to three characters, yep. and then we sell add-ons that can just sort of keep clicking on for as many characters as you need. Yep. And we have the legendary foe one, this is for your, your big dads. And then we got monsters. I think we need to rework monsters. Okay. There's way too much going on here to actually read anything. Well, so how many monsters would the smaller one track? This is eight right now. I think we should adjust to do four with two monster add-ons and just keep it the player size also. Because mm. how many monsters does this handle? That is 16 monsters. Yeah, that's for just, a real encounter. Just a yeah. sea of that. That's for a horde. Yeah, that's if you're actually playing D&D. If you're actually playing D&D the way it's meant to be played, which is with combat, he just talks in his D&D. They just talk about their feelings and then like, get experience points. I don't know how it fucking works. Milestone. Milestones. Milestones. I courted the princess. I get a milestone. <laughs> I don't know, Jason, what do you think of the Scott trackers? I think they're too big. We should use the same form fat that the other trackers use. Yeah. And it should just be like, you buy them by the square. You want four squares, you buy four squares. So you, you would advocate totally modular. I think the big thing with the RPG trackers is like the modularity. And this is kind of losing a lot of that. Like maybe get rid of the tabs, because that would really add a lot of bulk. I would get rid of these little nubbies too. Like it's cool, they like align, but it's just kind of funky. So you, so you would be fine with them just all squares, squares. and then they just have to click them together. Yeah, it's pretty easy to align them because they have big flat edges. Because like, this is cool. It's, this is crazy. Yeah, no. But you could also get this with just buying a bunch of smaller ones. it will probably be about the same price. It sounds like we're gonna do another round of revisions on those. But Scott will be able to turn those around real quick. Acrylic panels for the inside. Half frame, or you have your full. But now if you are to stack them, Hey. Everything stacks really, really well. That looks great. What do we want to hit now? Do you want to hit initiative tracker? Yeah. We got super simple initiative trackers. We have two acrylic colors. This one is for players. The black is for the DM. Oh, uh, so now that's um, kind of fun. I like the color coding because like it's like that. very visual. Like, okay, bad guys coming up in two moves. We got to fucking kill the Tarask. I like the color coding. I really do. Yeah. Why didn't I? I have never seen that before. Is that a, is that a, uh, is it's, that a, a it's a JMO. JMO? JMO. Okay. We also Jason McDonald's we got, original. We got rid of the condition trackers. That was fine. It was just, it's a DCO. <laughs> I guess the JMOs are better, so. <laughs> <laughs> then we have our turn tracker. This one is brass. This Jason. is fucking, whoa. We have a 3D printed version. Whoa. So we're gonna get it cast a little bit more. Whoa! You could just basically. Bo -bo 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 -bo. This is so great. That, That's really good. It looks good. That's very readable. What pen did you use for that? These are chalk pens. A pen that has like white or silver on one side and black on the other. Yeah. Like dual sided. Yeah. So basically, you have one pen that can do all your initiative trackers. You don't have to have oh. two pens. This is so good. <laughs> so, initiative tracker. I think it came out really good. I think it came out great. Ooh. Looks really good. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, 
That is, that is the true GM. If you get a display screen, it will come with a maple insert and then you can upgrade. <laughs> We're gonna do a version of the display insert that's double paned. You can put it in normal. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is you will be able to put custom artwork in here. So if you go print out, you know, a picture of the bot. Do you have a picture? Do you have something? I'm gonna make you something. You're gonna, you're gonna draw something? This is, this, this is us. All right, let's see it. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. It could be better than that. Just saying it could be. You could put guild symbol, boss art, a small map. It's just gonna allow you to put whatever you want to display there. Easily. Leaf pressings. Whatever you want. <laughs> what I would love to develop is some sexy cast metal inserts. Oh, interesting. That'd be nice. Honestly, like match the initiative tracker. Right. I feel like it's gonna be metal and gemstones or unlocks if this is a very successful Kickstarter and we'll launch with wood and the double paint. Slot trough. Slot trough. TM. Let's go. <laughs> I think we're actually calling this the tablet tray. And then this clicks into the bottom row of magnets. Oh, this is so fucking good. good. That is to use your tablet there, and then you still got this little oh, for dice, on. for your little magnetic things, for pens. And then we also designed it so that you can have each one of these screens with oh, one of these, and you can uh, close it up to 60 degrees. Yep. Are you serious? This came out the best out of all the accessories, I think, because it was like such a simple thing and it's so freaking useful. I think overall it's a very useful accessory. Oh my god. It's gonna be yes. super popular. Oh my god. Go this up. is gonna be unbelievably popular. Four phones. Four phones. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, you can put those on it too. Pretty useful, I think. It's great. So, Man. yeah, that's that. Look at this screen and it's fucking smexy, awesome. It's nice woodworking too. Mm. I'm just saying, it is also very. Like, it's handsome. It's Bolivian Rosewood. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> JV, wow. do you know how long people have been waiting for this screen? Yeah, Do like you six know years, how right? long they've been waiting for this screen? Long time. This has got to have gotten to your standard, finally. It's getting there. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't have, we don't have the final accessories. The tower, I want to bring back the chest of the holding. This came out so much better than I thought, and I love the, I love the, like, the, the barrel magnet. Yeah. Like this was a huge win for from Cristaldi. Those are all of the core features other than the dice tower, which we will go over tomorrow with the woods. Show off all the woods, all the woods of the Kickstarter. All right, we'll link back up tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Cool, cool transition. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Panels have to be hand glued, right. so it's not a it's not a production process. So it is, I mean, in that sense, it might be limited as well. I mean, what do you think, Jason? You hate everything. No, I think they're cool. <laughs> this was the other thing that I wanted to show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't hate it. I think they're cool. I think they are very, very different than Wormwood. So you're you're telling Michael to back off. Get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs>